we're going to see one more logical operator, not. To demonstrate the not operator, we're going to add one rule to our game, which is that you can't roll snake eyes. Snake eyes is when you roll two ones. Let's work through the logic for these rules by adding some pseudocode. So I already have if the user guess is equal to dice one and the user guess is equal to dice two. So now I need and the dice is not snake. Eyes. Before we translate this pseudocode in a JavaScript, let's break it down a little bit more. So I'm going to put these on separate lines. Our new pseudocode is the dice is not snake eyes. So how can we further break that down? So snake eyes is dice one is one and dice two is one. So we want the opposite of that. Uh, in pseudocode, we could write is not true. So this whole statement dice one is one and dice two is one is not true. So now let's translate this into JavaScript. Let's implement this pseudocode in JavaScript. So first I need an and, and then I'm going to create another Boolean statement here for the snake eyes. So dice roll one equal to one and dice roll two equal to one. So this entire statement here represents snake eyes. So for the win condition, I want the opposite of the statement. So in this case, I'm going to use the not operator, which is the opposite of the statement. So not operator is the exclamation point. And this means I win if I don't have snake eyes. Now let's test my new condition. Specifically, when I guess one and I roll one, I don't win, whereas before I would have. So my code is actually already set up for this because on line 25, I'm guaranteed to roll two ones from my dice roll function. Let's test this in the browser. Now I'm going to guess one and I should not win. Let's go back to the code and see if we can get a winning condition. I'm going to change the value that gets returned in the dice roll to two. And if I refresh the browser and guess two, then I should get a winning condition. 